free shift inspection is required by OSHA. Consult the operator's manual for your truck for proper instructions on the daily check. Follow these instructions carefully. Clark recommends you use a form to mark the results of your daily check and return the completed form to your supervisor or maintenance personnel, whichever is your employer's policy. It serves as a helpful check for both the person doing the check and the mechanic maintaining the truck. Doing a daily check helps familiarize you with all the components of your truck and keep it in a safe condition. Before performing the daily check, make sure the truck is properly parked in neutral gear with park brakes set, forks on the floor and the key removed. You should first do a visual check. Look for leaks under and around the truck. Check the upright for worn, misadjusted or broken chains, damaged rails, leaky hoses or cylinders. This is a visual check only. Never put your hands, arms or any tool or other device in the upright. Make sure the load backrest extension is secure and its welds are okay and that the fork retention is in place. Look at the forks. Are they bent, cracked or worn more than 10% at the heel? See your operator's manual for details on how to measure. If so, they must be replaced. Look at the overhead guard. It's there to protect you from objects falling off your forks or from nearby racks, but it's not intended to withstand a falling capacity load. Grab the overhead guard legs and give it a good shake. Its welds and bolts should be secure. Examine the tires. Cushion tires are hard rubber and are for indoor use on improved floors, such as warehouse concrete floors. Pneumatic and solid pneumatic tires are grooved and air-filled for use indoors and outdoors. Check tires for wear and proper inflation. Check for embedded nails, screws, etc., or any damage. Missing chunks and underinflation can lead to tip-overs. Look for the operator's manual, decals, and the data plate. They contain important information regarding safe operation, load center, and capacity of the truck. If any of these are missing or illegible, they need to be replaced. See the operator's manual for a listing of the decals that should be on your truck. On LPG trucks, make sure the fuel line connections are tight and the fuel tank and its mounting are in good condition. Removal or installation of fuel tanks requires that face shields and gloves be worn by the operator. On diesel, gasoline, or CNG trucks, check the fuel lines for leaks. Refer to the Clark video, Safe Handling of Fuels, for more information. On electric trucks, check the battery connections for tightness or damage. Make sure the battery is secured and the retention plates or arms on side entry battery compartments are in place and make sure the battery cover or seat deck latches are secure. Next, check the engine, but only if it's cool. Open the engine compartment carefully and never smoke while performing this check. On internal combustion trucks, check the engine oil level, the coolant level in the recovery bottle, the fuel level, and hydraulic fluid level. On electric trucks, check the battery electrolyte level and the charge level. On both types of trucks, check the brake reservoir if it has one. Check your operator's manual for your model. Lastly, check for and note any obvious damage. The next test is the functional test to check that the truck operates properly. On IC trucks, slowly turn on the LPG or CNG fuel. See your operator's manual for specifics on your truck. Check for leaks. Do not check with your bare hands. Safely enter the truck using three points of contact. Sit in the seat and check the seat belt for wear and the buckle for correct latching. Fasten the seat belt snugly around your hips. Check the horn. Check the direction control for correct operation. 
It should have no looseness or binding. Check the lift lower, tilt, and auxiliary control levers for smooth operation. There should be no binding, and they should return to neutral with no help from you. After checking each control lever, put it back into the safe park or neutral position. Check the parking brake. You should feel tension when you apply it. If it's loose, it's probably not going to hold the truck. A properly adjusted parking brake should hold a loaded truck on a 15% grade. If your parking brake isn't working, tag the truck out of service and get it fixed. Check the brake pedal. It should feel firm and with sustained foot pressure should not slowly drift to the floor. With the truck in safe starting position, parking brake set, direction control in neutral, turn the key to start the engine on IC trucks. Your truck's operator's manual may have specifics on the truck monitoring systems and instrument panel display. So read the operator's manual for your truck. On electric trucks, ensure that the battery connection is properly made. Make sure the truck is in a safe starting condition with parking brake set and all controls in neutral. Then turn on the key switch. There are several different types of control pedal arrangements on IC trucks. Read the operator's manual to be familiar with the type of control on your truck. The most common pedal arrangement is right pedal accelerator, left pedal inching, and center pedal service brake. Some other different pedal arrangements you might see are right pedal brake, no left pedal, and right pedal accelerator. Unitrol, where the right pedal selects direction and control speed, and a left pedal for inching. And hydrostatic drive, right pedal forward and speed, left pedal reverse and speed. Note that hydrostatic drives will feel different than torque converter drives. This is because they have a characteristic called dynamic braking, and this can be tailored to suit the application. Also, hydrostatic drives can be adjusted to coast like a torque converter, or to have no coasting. If you are to operate a hydrostatic truck, read the operator's manual and make sure that you understand the controls. Check for adequate overhead clearance. Operate the lift and tilt functions using the lift, tilt, and auxiliary levers and cycle the upright all the way up. Then all the way down and then forward and back. If the upright will not raise to the full height without making an unusual noise, this may indicate low hydraulic fluid level. Have a trained mechanic check it out. Components should move freely with no binding. If the upright does not raise and lower smoothly, do not use the truck until a trained mechanic has corrected the situation. An upright that is not operating properly can lead to accidents. With the upright lowered to its lowest level, turn the steering wheel a full turn to its stops in each direction. The steering should operate smoothly without any looseness, binding, or unusual noises. Return the steer wheels to straight ahead, release the parking brake, and move slowly forward. Apply the service brake and come to a stop. The brake should bring the truck to a controlled stop without high pedal effort. While operating a truck, listen for any unusual noises. These indicate that something is wrong. Look behind the truck and check the floor for leaks. If your truck is equipped with lights, alarms, or mirrors, make sure they're functioning correctly and are not missing or in need of repair. If any component of the truck is missing or in need of repair, mark it on the checklist. Do not attempt to replace or repair the item unless you are trained and authorized. Instead, place a do not operate tag on the truck and remove the key. Take the checklist to your supervisor or maintenance department and inform them of the problem. To summarize, OSHA requires a daily or pre-shift inspection of lift trucks. You must perform both visual and functional checks. Mark your results on an operator's check sheet, which are available from your Clark dealer. Never attempt repairs unless you are a trained and authorized mechanic.
Tag out a truck needing repair and alert your supervisor or maintenance personnel. Turn in your completed check sheet to the supervisor or maintenance personnel. And last, do not operate a malfunctioning truck. <laughs>